All right, guys, so today I'm working on the Civic. Um, I'm just gonna be replacing the notorious main relay, which if you own a Civic, you know <clears throat> these things go bad pretty often. So mine went out not too long ago. So I got the conversion kit. I bought this on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link in the description. If you guys want to buy one of these, I think I got it for like $20. So not too bad. And on these are cheaper than the actual main brick style relays that, you know, you get from Honda or whatever. Those are junk. So yeah, I'm just going to be pulling that one out and throwing this one in. Pretty simple. All you got to do, unplug this and then held on by this bolt right here it's a 10 millimeter so once you unscrew that unbolt that the whole bracket and the whole main relay comes out and then you just put this one in there and bolt that right up and plug this in and you're good to go but yeah um my civic's been down for i want to say about like two months it was all because of the freaking ECU my old one it gave out it wouldn't communicate because I have a Honda S300 so it wouldn't communicate with the once when I plugged it into the computer it like wouldn't um, upload or download the map that would be on the on the on the ECU and then I had another another ECU that I plugged in and the car would run but that ECU was not meant for this motor. It was like a non VTEC ECU. I think it was like a PL5 or some shit like that. But either way, it wouldn't work for this uh, engine. Um, so I ended up buying this P28 from HA Motorsports. Um, it already came so uh, soldered with uh, everything that needed for the S300. So I just you know put the put my board in there and everything worked and then my freaking alternator went bad so i had to replace that and then it's my battery like the new alternator wouldn't charge up the battery so i was like is the fucking alternator the new alternator that i got bad too but my ECU threw a code for um, the ELD, so I thought that went bad. But I ended up checking the fuse down there for like the alternator down there in the driver's side, um, and that shit was blown. So once I replaced that, everything went back to normal. So everything works now. I just I just gotta fucking replace the main relay with the new conversion that I got, and then everything should be straight. And then I'll be putting this back where it belongs and then clean up everything and hopefully I can be driving this again. So I miss driving this thing. But yeah, I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, so I got everything put back together all nice and clean. I might have to just vacuum it and clean the dashboard and all that because uh, it's all dusty and shit. You can't really notice on in, on the camera, but or on video, but in person it's pretty dusty. So I'm gonna clean that vacuum and hopefully tomorrow it's not raining because right now I was gonna wash it today, but I started pouring. You know Oregon weather, but. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow. It looks like tomorrow is going to be sunny, so I'll probably just pull this out, give it a quick wash, and hopefully I'll be able to drive this again. Bro, look at that CV7, though. It's looking clean. I still need to get a front look for it. But it's looking clean.
All right, so I cleaned up everything. Got it all vacuumed out. Dashboard clean, door panels are clean. So now I'm just gonna show you guys everything works. No check engine light. Damn, fired right up. Fires. Also, the other thing I was having issues with the other ECU was it was uh, misfiring like a motherfucker too. But she's running great, no issues so far. You can see the alternator up in there. Oh, my God. 